Hey, rich friends, it's your girl Cha Cha reporting live from The Money Mantra, and we are back with another Forex education video. I created this channel to help as many people as possible become independent and profitable traders within the foreign exchange market. So if that's something that you're looking to do, you have definitely found yourself in the right place. I do just want to give a shout out to all of my new and returning subscribers or just anybody who has stopped by and received any type of value from my channel. I do try to make this as simple as possible to understand because this is a high income skill. And if you take the time to learn it, it can honestly really change your life. Now, if you are looking for a personal mentor or a structured learning environment with a community of other traders, I did recently launch the Money Mantra mobile app, and you can find more information about that down below in the description box. So in today's quick video, we're going to be doing a trade locker tutorial. Trade Locker is a newer trading app. And if you are just getting into trading, I would say that it's worth exploring just so that you are in the know with what's going on. An alternative to using Trade Locker will be something like MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5, or even C Trader. But today, the focus is Trade Locker. So when you first log into Trade Locker, if you haven't done any other customizations, this is what you will see on your chart, pretty much just the candles. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add indicators to your chart. Now, indicators are a part of technical analysis, and technical analysis is a type of analysis that you can do, and it includes understanding the indicators and what they're actually trying to tell you about the price. Now, there are two different other types of analysis. One is called fundamental, which is you using the news to help you make your trade ideas, and the other is sentimental analysis, which is how do you actually feel about this trade and a good trader really has all three, but technical is a major part of it. So to get to the indicators, um, you can use as many indicators as you like or as less indicators as you like. My personal strategy has about four different indicators, but again, it's all going to be based on personal preference. Now, you won't actually see when I click this, but I am going to describe where to find this button and how to add the indicators to your chart. So directly at the top of the chart, you'll see where it says GBPUSD. And under GBPUSD, you'll see it says one hour, which is our time frame. You'll see the candles icon next to that. And right next to that, you'll see an FX tab. And this is actually where you're going to find all the indicators that Trade Locker offers. Now, what I like about this is that these are all the same indicators that you'll also find on TradingView. So if you have a straight strategy that you use on TradingView, it should be extremely easy to duplicate here. So we're going to click on that FX. And as you can see, all of the available indicators are going to pop up. Now, for this example, we're going to recreate my strategy. So we're going to search for moving average. And we're just going to go ahead and click on moving average exponential because this is going to be our EMA. Now, once you've added it to the chart, you'll literally see this is what it will look like. Now, if you wanted this to be a 50 EMA or a 200 EMA or even change the color, you would click on the indicator that you just added to the chart. You would click on the settings tab. And here is where you will be able to customize it. So let's go ahead and make this a 50 EMA. And we're also just going to change the color to purple. Then we're going to click OK. And as we can see, our indicator has been updated on our chart. Now let's add another indicator. Again, we're going to click on the FX tab. We're going to search the indicator that we want. In this case, it is the moving average exponential. But remember, you can add any of these indicators here that you like. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to actually click on the indicator that we want to modify. Click on the settings. This time, we're going to change the color to orange, and we're going to make this our 200 EMA. We're going to go ahead and click OK. So now we can see we have an orange EMA, and we have a purple EMA on our charts. Now, if you wanted to add additional indicators to the bottom of your chart, like the stochastic, the RSI, the MACD, or any of the oscillators, again, click on the FX tab and search the indicator that you want to add. In this example, we're going to go ahead and add the stochastic onto our chart. And as we can see, the stochastic has been added onto our chart. 
So it's pretty simple. Again, you can use as many or as little indicators as you like. It's pretty flexible. And the cool thing about this is you can actually save your strategy so that if you ever accidentally delete it or you'd like to explain it to someone else, it'll be super easy to backtrack and find. So what you want to do to actually save your indicators on your chart is there's a box directly next to the FX that has four squares. If you click on that and click save indicator template and you can choose a name for it. So in this case, let's do testing one. We're going to go ahead and click save. Now our strategy has been saved. So let's just say for any reason our app happened to reset or we accidentally deleted our indicators. All we would have to do now is click on those four squares, click our testing strategy, and everything will populate back on our chart, including all of our settings. So this is really all I wanted to show you guys today. Just a quick video on how to add indicators to your chart. This is going to be extremely helpful, especially when it comes down to trading on the go or doing a quick analysis when you don't have time to look at a bigger screen like your computer. So I really hope that this video was helpful and I really hope that you learned something. If it was simple and you like what you saw, make sure that you do hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you never miss when I post a new video. And more importantly, share this video with another trader. So that's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, rich friends.